So sugar sensitivity and Thanksgiving and families really don't mix very well. Too many treats, too many goodies, and too much insanity. Weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth, to bouncing off the wall wildness, and then just about that fast, bing, 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 bing. It's kind of crazy. So what have we been reading about? We've been reading a lot about sugar sensitivity. Oh, and here is a, something interesting to note. If sugar sensitivity does seem to be in your family, there's a good chance that there's also lactose intolerance or milk intolerance. Lactose being the sugar in the milk that the body has can often have a very difficult time absorbing. It affects the brain. I had forgotten, oh so conveniently, how badly cheese affects me and milk. I can't drink milk. It burns my lips. But cheese affects me. It affects my emotions. It does some weird stuff in my brain, and I, I will teach you all about that as I learn it. But it does weird stuff in my brain, and it acts as a depressant. Where, with my daughter, the sugar does both. It acts, um, well, it creates volatile mood swings. It goes, she can go from absolutely happy, bouncing off the walls, joy, 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 almost to insanity like a monkey, to weeping, welling, and gnashing of teeth, and you would think that uh, that the world had come to an end and she was the only survivor. It can go that extreme. But the cool thing is, is that now we know. And we know that when we eat sugar or dairy, for me, and probably for her too, is my guess, and probably all my kids, seeing that it is an inherited trait, um, things can get rough in the home. So there's the scoop. Thanksgiving. Okay, a couple of things to do. I think, did I mention this before? I don't know. Um, eat protein with every meal. Eat breakfast. Eat regularly. Those things seem to be helping a lot. I have also heard, I haven't tried it yet, eat a potato, a baked potato with butter before going to bed a couple hours after dinner, two hours or so. And um, that apparently is supposed to help balance out the sugars through the night so that you don't wake up so frumpy grumpy. I have just had a wallop load of cheese. Oh man, and I'm I the mood swing mama. But it's kind of a low mood swing and then I go and then I go back to low, sad, kind of a depressed mood swing. It's not my normal bouncy high, um, happy self. So it's kind of blah really kind of yucky. Oh, rats. So not, not the enjoyable thing at this festive time of year, or any time of year for that matter. So, toasted cheese sandwiches, bye-bye. Uh, cheese dips, adios. Eggnog, we'll go for the almond nog, or we'll make our own version with almond milk that I make. Uh, it's out of here, because we much prefer having a very happy buoyant family. But there are some other things that have proven very helpful. When we get that crash and we can identify it or we don't identify it, but we get that emotional crash when our physical body is weak, our emotions can just get really messed up. So we get that emotional crash using the the uh, mind chatter mastery techniques has proven very, very helpful. Even though physically we're still in that really yucky state, if we use that state or those yucky thoughts and we go and do the mastery, like the course that I teach on my website, um, for free, um, then I've noticed, not just with myself, but my daughter, she's able to shift out of that yucky state to a much happier state of mind, even though her body is still struggling. She can bounce back to a, uh, to a nicer level. Um, she'll crash probably again, but coming back up isn't so hard when she can address the emotional issues that surface with uh, the sugar crashes. So that's one realm that we're working with um, where she's learning these skills because even when her sugars are regulated and even when I'm not doing dairy, we have bad days now and again. So it's a good skill to have regardless of the situation. Um, that's it for now. So sugar intolerance. Woohoo! <laughs> we pay welling and gnashing of teeth and it's been crazy. And lactose intolerance that creates depression or very severe, strong mood swings. 
It's like I have fog in my brain. It's like I'm looking through like this at my life all day long. Oh, it's really yucky. So I am drinking lemon water and just doing what I can to detox and recognizing that I am not in a good frame of mind. Physically, my chemistry in my brain is off. And so I've let my children know I'm a little bit on edge. I'm a little bit grumpy. And when I start feeling that come up in my body, then I calm myself down. I breathe. I back off. Say, okay, we got to pause here for a second. There's too much craziness going on. Let's each take care of ourselves in a more healthy way. And so being conscious of it and aware of it is helping me a whole bunch. Tons, tons, tons. And like I said, that mind chatter skill that we've been practicing for years is one of the best, best things, best things that we are doing to help manage when we do, well, shall I say fall off the wagon? Oh, and did you know sugar is an addiction, like really bad, in fact, like an opiate, and as is dairy, lactose, cheese. It also creates some brain chemistry kind of addictive things to happen. So it's no wonder I conveniently forget that my body cannot handle cheese. And I go, oh, maybe it'll work this time. But it doesn't. It never does. It never does. Silly. Isn't it crazy how we do that to ourselves? Hmm. So my children and I, we are reminding each other. My husband is reminding us. Cheese be gone. It's out of here. Sugar is gone. Out of here. We'll have fruit after we have a protein and complex carbohydrate meal and rich in vegetables and good stuff like that. So, um, like I said, I will post some other videos that really go into more um, more detail so you can understand the chemistry of what's actually happening. For me, that's been one of the most helpful things to understand and especially to explain to my daughter of what's going on in her brain. Otherwise, you know, she thinks she's broken or wrong all the time or, you know, crazy in the head. I have felt that way many times growing up and felt it today, kind of. <laughs> so, you know, that mind, the mind chatter mastery is really vital. It also helps us focus on taking good care of ourselves before this. I knew cheese wasn't good for me, but that chatter would get to me and I would hurt myself with it. Not anymore. Nope. Not anymore. Because when those thoughts hit me, mm, I grab them and I know how to change them. I know what to do with them. So I keep rattling on. I've probably said more than enough this time. <laughs> Have a great day and I will chat with you again. I keep looking down at my phone instead of at you. <laughs> you're the important one. And I'm glad that you're... I hope this helps you. That's the only reason why I throw myself up here on YouTube, really, is that I hope it helps you. My pregnancy videos, this, the fun stuff with the children. Um, we hope to enrich your life. That is really our goal. Have an awesome, beautiful, powerful day. Bye-bye.